at his restaurant, Urban Table, and we're talking about some exciting things. He's implemented a new system here and at your other restaurant, Salt, um, that could really change the way that people think and feel about dining out. So let's just dive into that. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about you know, how you heard about this new air filtration system from EcoZap and um, how it's been, what you've noticed, and all of it. Let's hear yeah, it. Yes, sure thing. Uh, you know, since uh, this whole pandemic started, actually, we were actually in search of a, some sort of a system that would make our restaurant, you know, safer and things like that. We thought about aerosol and we thought about certain chemical uh, just to get the surface area wiped down and clean. And then, of course, we all found out it was airborne, uh, you know, virus. So what do we do? So we've been in search of a system, you know, do we do HEPA filter? Do we do heat treating air? What do we do? And just by a dumb chance, I met John Adams uh, at SALT. Uh, so he came in on our second week of opening and they say, hey, by the way, I work for EcoZap. And, uh, you know, what are you doing about this uh, airborne purification system? And I said, you know, I am actually searching. And uh, I, I heard all these different uh, options out there. And I just wasn't sure which route we should go into. And, uh, you know, John said, hey, let's sit down and let me explain the science behind what we're doing and see if that works for you and see if, you know, this is something you want to, you know, move forward. And I done some research on it. I read through it. And then, of course, it makes perfect sense. You know, it, it was really scientific how things were, you know, geared and how things were measured. And we thought, you know what, rather than diffusing this uh, aerosol of a chemis uh, chemicals, let's try to do this route where ionization will actually do it for us without, you know, spraying, I don't know, aerosol of a Lysol or, right. you know, harmful, harmful chemical that will actually kill these things. So uh, we sat down and, uh, of course, EcoZet was extremely helpful in actually explaining things. It wasn't just try to sell us something. It was really try to make us understand. And of course, we did have a you know, huge confidence after doing a lot of research behind it. It wasn't just what they're saying. Different medias and different scientific reports were all confirming this system does work. Um, so once we got that, we decided that we're going to install it at Salt and Urban Table as, uh, as sort of the first restaurants to get it going. Uh, since it is our bigger uh, and a more populous uh, restaurant. So, you know, I thought that was going to give sort of the safer environment for not only our staff, but our patrons who come and visit us. Right. Okay, so something that you can definitely feel whenever you walk into one of your restaurants is that you really do care about your people in your community. So it makes sense that you would be thinking of all of us um, when deciding what kind of system to implement in your restaurant. So, what are you hoping to what message are you hoping to send to the rest of the, the to the rest of the restaurant industry right. um, with this change that you've made with the system that you've implemented you know i think initially we will have a competitive advantage of being the first restaurant to install the system and you know providing a cleaner safer air for any patrons or you know staff but ultimately i do want all the restaurants and other uh, hospitality industries to actually follow suit and uh, just kind of level up with us because uh, it's not about I'm being better than you. Right. It's about making the entire system actually safer and better because when we do that, we can boost the uh, public's confidence in a hospitality industry. And that is the fastest pathway to the normalcy. Uh, I think all the hotels and restaurants would love to see the you know, guests you know, filling the restaurant, you know, both indoor and outdoor. And uh, how do we do it? boosting the public confidence about safe environment. And I think what we're doing is really just kind of the launching that, you know, initiation of, okay, we're gonna try to, you know, take a stand and make our outdoor dining available for the public, but also wanna make an indoor, uh, indoor dining available